And in today's story, we would like to know what Padre Pio was doing at the door of the Holy Office all the way in Rome. So we know that at one point Padre Pio suffered some credibility issues from those around him. And how was this all linked together? Hello friends of following Padre Pio on this channel. We bring you a series of short stories on the life of our great saint. He was a tremendous mystic and incredible miracle worker. Do stay tuned to find out more about the life of Padre Pio and what his intercession could do for you. And we encourage you to join us in this Padre Pio apostolate by liking the video and sharing the video with friends and colleagues. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel as well. And today we have this account given to us by a father, Alberto de Polito, relating of the court of the Holy Office in which Padre Pio was having some credibility issues at a certain point in his life. And so some people, they were opposed to Padre Pio, to his incredible supernatural life. They couldn't believe that it was true and therefore they had to try and silence Padre Pio, to have him banned. In 1970, after the death of Padre Pio, Father Alberto tells us this. I went to Cola Valenza, where I was able to meet with Mother Hope. And she was a Spanish nun. And she was quite well known. She was very well known in Spar of Spanish, Spanish origin, as we said. She was also a stigmatist and who died with a reputation for great holiness. And that it was in 1983 when she passed away. And Father de Polito and her had a discussion which I would have classified at any other time as being mind-blowing or simply crazy if he had not been convinced of her sanctity. This was the conversation. Mother, I said to her, I am a Capuchin from St. Giovanni Rotundo, that is Padre Pio's monastery, and I don't want to take up any of your time. I only ask you to pray for the beatification of Padre Pio. Then he says, she raised her eyes and fixed them on me and replied, I have always prayed for him. Have you met him? I asked. Yes, Mother Hope replied. I've seen him many, many times. In St. Giovanni Rotundo? No, I've never been there to St. Giovanni Rotundo. Where then? I wanted to know. In Rome was her answer which really surprised Father de Polito. But mother, that is not possible because Padre Pio only went to Rome once and that was in 1917 and that was to accompany his sister to the convent St. Bridget. And at that time you were in Spain, so you must be mistaken having confused some other Capuchin for Padre Pio. I'm not wrong, she insisted. No, it was him. But when did you see Padre Pio in Rome? And then Mother Hope told him, It was in the court of the Holy Office and every day for a whole year. It was definitely him because he wore fingerless gloves. We greeted each other, I kissed his hand and sometimes we even spoke. This happened, she said, between 1937 and 1939. So that was directly before the Second World War when she was in service at the Holy Office. Then he said, Mother, don't take this the wrong way. If I say that it is difficult for me to believe this. And so she replied, you are free to think whatever you want. She answered with great sweetness, he added. But I do repeat that I have seen Padre Pio every day in Rome for a whole year. And then she added, I've always prayed for him. And now I also pray for his glorification. And we've seen here that the only reason that Father Alberto gave for the credibility of the story was that Mother Hope had a reputation for great holiness and she also carried the stigmata on her hands. But it is interesting that even a great saint like Padre Pio would have to go to another saint to ask for prayers in his times of need. Next time on this channel, we're going to have a look at the story of Padre Pio and the transverberation in which an angel appeared to Padre Pio and filling him with the love of Christ from then on. 
So please do join us for that video next time. And if you've missed any of our videos, then it's very easy. Just click on the channel icon directly below here, and that will take you to a list of all of our videos on Padre Pio. Please do continue watching. Join us in our Padre Pio apostolate. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel.